Hey, everybody. Um, it's Jean uh, from Connections 101, the director of the scholarship team. And with me today, um, I have the incredible Linda King uh, from the King Advantage. And uh, today um, we are um, going to be um, talking about, um, you know, business related fields. And I'm so super um, excited about that because Linda's brought um, her Linda's list uh, with some with some colleges that students should definitely be looking at for business related fields. And I've got a really great list of scholarships. Um, we're going to feature a few. And of course, um, uh, as we do every Friday, feel free, you know, reach out to us. And um, we are happy to shoot you over a list of uh, 10 uh, colleges and 10 scholarships. So Linda, how are you? Hope you had a good week. Happy Tell us Friday. about business related colleges. I know you guys, I was just saying to Jean earlier, I have so much fun digging in um, because it just sucks me back in, right? To like new majors and new possibilities. And those possibilities exist for all of you out there. Um, so yeah, if you guys have questions, email me at getthekingadvantage uh, at gmail. Um, and my new website's up. I'm so excited. Yay, it's not I love fancy. it. <laughs> it's not fancy, but you'll get some info. And I started my new blog post, so check that out too. So um, that's fun as well. So I'm going to share three colleges with you guys. And as usual, I just had such a tough time choosing because there's so many. Um, and I can get where you guys message me like, I'm overwhelmed. Where do I even begin? Um, so here's my first one. So my first one is a lovely little school in Westminster, Maryland called McDaniel College, okay? I love this college for so many reasons because it's small, accessible, great for that B student, right? Um, and I wanna just preface this by saying, you know, I'm not the coach who's gonna promise you the world. I'm not the coach who's gonna say, you're gonna get into every college. I'm not the coach who's gonna just come at you with IV programming, right? That's, I think, what separates me from so many um, others out there. So McDaniel College, Westminster, um, Maryland, small, love this. It's at approximate proximity to Baltimore and DC makes it like popular for internships and co-ops. You um, know, I, I, you know, I'm all about location, Linda, with, you know, getting, you know, I really believe like college location, as yeah. far as that proximity to internships yeah. is huge because you could already start lighting up those future jobs. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. such a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because I have a junior right now who's had no co-ops or internships and their parents are like, okay, where do we do, where do we begin, right? So that's true, right? So you need to be thinking you're in college to get that career. And when you're in a business school, there's thousands and thousands of students studying business. So you need to separate yourself from the pack for sure. So McDaniel, um, it's a small 1600 student undergrads, a faculty student ratio of 11 to one, 47% um, men, 53% women. Um, they have a location in Budapest, Hungary, okay? Mm. So I love this. Uh, students can use their financial aid to study abroad at this campus, this location. Um, That's great. Yeah, super great. They have, uh, they're known for their tailgating, right? This is fun. They have a drive-in stadium uh, that's nationally recognized, right? So I got to check this out. I've never, you know, I've toured McDaniel many years ago, but I love this tailgating tradition. They have um, the Center for Experience and Opportunity is a one-stop center for experiential learning. Um, they offer students fellowships, entrepreneurial coaching, um, global initiatives, internships, study abroad, and mentorship from key alums, mm. um, which is huge, right? Those early connections. They offer a free January term for first year students, which focuses on goals and creating an action plan from the get go. Which oh, I love that. Huge. Me too, which is huge. Um, and this January term is free, right? We, we love free. Uh, um, so again, focus is accounting, business admin, economics, finance, even sports management, which I also love because there's so many students out there who want, want something related to sports and this college will offer you this. 
They have, this is my other huge favorite with McDaniel. They offer legacy scholarship worth hundred thousand dollars. Wow. That's great. For Get this P through 12 educators, right? So if you're the child of educators, um, veterans or legacy students. So this oh, wow, I love that hundred thousand dollars. So 25,000 each year. Um, and what I love is their acceptance rate is realistic. 64%. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's great. McDaniel. Yeah. Love little McDaniel. It's great. Um, little in population, but big in, um, offerings and experience. Yeah. yeah. And that's really important. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, definitely. So love, love all my schools this week are on the East coast. Um, my second college is uh, Babson College. Also, oh, my- I love Babson. I, yeah, I've been at Babson. I've, I've spoken at Babson. Love, and love that. Love that right, campus. Um, yeah, right outside of Wellesley, Mass. So your proximity to Boston is tremendous. And again, this a city connection, establishing those relationships with the business owners and entrepreneurs are like key. And Babson's known for that. They were founded on entrepreneurship. That was their original focus. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. About, about yeah, them, yeah, so. yeah. Um, they um, here. Oh my gosh. Every freshman uh, runs a business through a foundation course and they're offered oh, wow. $9,000 in seed money to create their business and take it to whatever level. And businesses have been, you know, um, created here, which is really fun. Um, all students major in business and then create a, a concentration. They choose a concentration. One of three colleges in the United States accredited with EQUIS and the AACBS. Okay. That's a very difficult accreditation to achieve. And Babson is one of three. You'll hear my next one is also accredited with this uh, same um, intense certification. Um, notable alums, this is always fun. Jamie Simonoff, the founder of The Ring, right? Ah. The, <laughs> right? Um, founder of Home Depot, Arthur Blank is an alum. Um, what I also love is they're noted for what's known as the Babson Academy. Um, for the advancement of global entrepreneurial learning, okay? Mm. And this academy um, it encompasses faculty, students, uh, and uh, around the globe, lectures, boot camps, um, and so much more. 2,700 students, 52% male, 48% female, and their acceptance rate's a little more competitive at 23%. Okay. So again, okay. To summarize, very focused on yeah. business with some liberal arts, but they're, you know, that's their really, their entrepreneurial. Um, I love the, I love the entrepreneurship piece. Yeah. I love, I love the, you know, that there's that option for students to get seed money to like literally like right. start going right from day one. Yeah. So what's, tell us about your third school. Okay. You're featuring third today. school, you guys, is Bentley University in Waltham, Mass. Okay. So I have a very um, dear uh, student who I coached a few years ago. And his story is incredible. I'm hoping to interview him shortly and share it with you guys because he's an alum of Bentley. He couldn't make it this morning, but um, his story is really, really cool. So Bentley was founded in 1917 as a school of accounting um, uh, right near Boston, right? 4,200 undergrads, so a little bigger of the three. Very small class sizes, though. Top 10 college from Money Magazine for business. They have an honors program. They have a women's leadership program. Love this, which includes mentoring, corporate events, networking. Um, they have a scholarship totaling 10000 per year for the women entrepreneurs um, with a total of 40000 a year. So love that. Um, they also have a program called the Falcon Fast Track, combining your bachelor's and master's in five years. I um, love that. You know, I like the combined degree. <laughs> five, years, five years, you guys. Fast track. Falcon fast track. Um, study abroad is huge. 80 plus programs in 25 countries and over 50% of the students participate in study abroad, which is key in business, right? Yeah, um, that's really, really great. Majors, again, include marketing, management, accounting, economics. Also huge as you can combine these with liberal arts at Bentley, which is great. And they have D1 ice hockey. <laughs> um, all other sports are division two. So this is okay. a really a great selling point for the athletes, right? 
Um, again, one of only three schools in the United States to be EQUIS and AACBS accredited, and their acceptance rate is 43%. So okay. you guys, those are my three um, favorites from my list this week. But I know you have a list of 10 um, yep. colleges that, you know, people reach out to you um, for sure. And again, all the information is going to be um, in the post. So make sure everybody checks, his, checks it out um, on how they can get that list uh, from Linda. Linda's list of uh, 10 uh, recommended colleges for business related careers. And Linda, I'm really glad that you mentioned uh, the whole um, importance of, of international business, right? Because um, I'll, I'll tell you, um, you know, what's exciting on the scholarship end is that when people are looking for business related scholarships, they need to understand that there's that the majority of uh, private scholarship sources, they are not only going to limit the opportunity to just someone who's declaring a business major, right? Um, and that's really, really exciting. So I'm like, if this is important, you guys, I am, I'm giving a shout out um, and I've got a big old list. I'm going to read it right now. Like literally like a business, you know, business related fields. This could mean that you are pursuing, of course, business, international relations, management, political science, public relations, communications. I hear from all of you guys. They're like, where are the communication scholarships? look at business related scholarships okay um, marketing commerce statistics financial services um all of you entrepreneurs so entrepreneurship um also um advertising i hear from you guys all the time where's all the advertising scholarships advertising scholarships get lumped into business related scholarships uh, public affairs economics government relations all right and real estate okay so all of these different fields, they all get wrapped into business related types of scholarships. So really important. Um, you know, I, I hear, we hear, my whole team here is from everybody out there who gets frustrated. They're like, I'm looking for, you know, uh, real estate related scholarships. Do not just limit yourself. Keep expanding that. Always looking at what's the larger picture. What's the larger yeah. picture? Yeah. It's business related scholarships. So um, I've got a... Um, yeah. I want to ask you a question. How, so that's a lot, right? That's a lot. Yeah. And I get this from, from students all the time because when they're researching majors, right, some colleges list things um, very differently. So I have to like narrow down for them and help them navigate key terms. So at one college, it might fall within public relations. Another college, it might fall within the school of management, et cetera. So how do they really hone in on looking for those specific scholarships? Like what are, what's a key, you know? Uh, so so, either, so with the key with scholarships, it's a great question, Linda. The, the key with scholarships is actually not to put those blinders on. You do not want to put any blinders on you do you know yes of course of course you're going to look for a scholarship related to advertising right but you need to look at the bigger picture the uh, expanding beyond the bigger picture opens up more scholarship opportunities for yourself right yeah. that is where that's such a key um learning for no matter what it is that you're doing in, in terms of the scholarship front, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the, the student who is only, I mean, you know, uh, just as an aside, like, uh, you know, take it completely out of the career field, the student that's only looking for community service scholarship, right. you're gonna limit yourself. Right. What is the community service that you actually did? Oh, you, uh, you did a beach cleanup, guess what? You can apply for scholarships also related to recycling, also related to marine life, also Fire related to like, expand it, yeah. expand it, okay? That is the key thing to do. So do not limit yourself. We want you to get as much money as possible. And guess what? You yeah. are then eligible for all of these things. And I, I've got three uh, great scholarships, but I've got tons of scholarships on my list. Um, uh, my, my list of top 10, happy to get it over to you. Let's by hear it. Out to my team. So first off, um, I love this one. This is the Go Skills Scholarship. Um, it's open to female high school students or college students who are pursuing um, any career field, but have the goal of actually starting their own online business. I'm digging this. So all of you ladies out there who are future entrepreneurs, I mean, this is an amazing opportunity. They actually have uh, two deadlines a year, uh, one that happens in the spring, March 15th, and then one that happens um, in September. It's a $2,000 scholarship. Uh, there are no age restrictions. 
Ah, right all of you out there who are that you're um you're that amazing uh, woman who is pivoting in her career and you're going back to school and you know that you're going to be having an online uh you want to start an online you know portion of maybe for some additional income this is an amazing opportunity i love uh, it that. is not yeah and it's not based on financial need love that too okay another reminder you guys all you know private scholarships they're not, they don't go into those three, you know, neat little boxes that you get from college specific scholarships of merit based, need based, or skill based, right? Um, types of scholarships. So, um, again, Go Skills Scholar, uh, the Go Skills uh, Scholarship. Next one I want to feature. Uh, this one is a $10,000 um, award and deadline is actually coming up on, on October 18th. And I'm talking about the BMO Capital Markets Lime Connect Equity Through Education Scholarship. I'm going to say it again because it's really, really, really. really <laughs> That's a mouthful. That's such a long, long title. Here we go. BMO Capital Markets Lime Connect Equity Through Education Scholarship. It's a long title, but it's worth it, 10 grand. Deadline is October 18th. Open a full-time US or Canadian undergraduate or graduate business school students um, pursuing either, here we go, this is how we open up the umbrella, pursuing either business, commerce, computer science, engineering, math, physics, statistics, financial services, all right? Lots of uh, great opportunities there um, for uh, anyone. Um, so the last one that I wanna feature is a really interesting scholarship and i gotta say um you know i'm my team we're researching scholarships daily this is one that was new to us i was like wow i haven't heard about this scholarship and it's kind of a cool one so i wanted to give it a shout out so this one this particular scholarship is a two thousand dollar scholarship um it is called the travel i'm sorry the the tourism and travel small business scholarship it is open to high school seniors or currently um, enrolled college students and trade school students with a GPA of 3.5 or higher, students must be pursuing either hospitality, tourism, aviation, business, economics, or finance. Uh, they, um, can, uh, they're looking for students who, are, who demonstrate a high level um, ambition of being their own entrepreneur, right? Being a business owner. $2,000 scholarship open to students in the US, Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, and deadline is December 15th. <sighs> Lots of great opportunities. So, I know. So, you'll learn about, um, you'll get the details about these three scholarships. You get the details about the three colleges that Linda mentioned um, by reaching out to us um, and um, the list of uh, all together 10 that we're featuring, uh, both of us. And, um, and we're happy to hear from you. So, um, I do want to say I'm. Uh, we were going to be going live with this video. Had a little bit of tech issues. Sorry about that, you guys. But we are going to be posting these videos, you know, every single Friday. Um, and uh, and 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 hopefully you can also keep joining us live because um, we are featuring uh, different career fields uh, for college uh, colleges to look at and also scholarships to pursue every single week. So share out this information follow our pages and um until we see you next time Linda, any any last any last thoughts no have a great beautiful weekend everybody the leaves are changing here in upstate new york so it's super uh lovely um and just enjoy this process right we come to yeah. because we want to give you guys some suggestions and strategies um it shouldn't be reactive right we want you to have a proactive organized approach and that's where gene and i uh make a clear difference for, for this mission um, and it's expensive, right? So we hope our, our videos give you some uh, resources and just check us out online, check us out on our email pages and our dot coms and uh, we'll see you next week at 10.30. Yeah, 10.30 East Coast time on Fridays. See you guys, take care, bye-bye.